Edward Hine was a bank clerk from England who worked tirelessly to spread the racialized version of British Israelism throughout the world, especially in North America. Hine was a self-proclaimed disciple of British Israelite John Wilson during the time Wilson's version of the British Israel Doctrine began introducing claims of racial superiority. Hine started holding lectures and producing literature on British Israelism as early as 1869 and founded his first magazine in 1873. According to Hine, the Jews of the late 1800s were descended from the tribe of Judah and not to be confounded with the Israelites led into captivity by the Assyrians. The lineal descendants of King David, according to Hine, settled in the British Isles. Hine went so far as to declare that the United States would soon appoint the Duke of Edinburgh to be their king, and that representatives from each tribe in the British Isles would send representatives to Palestine to form a parliament of sorts. According to Hine, one of his own disciples who introduced him to the Bernard Castle in Durham, England, would soon be the representative of that same Bernard Castle. The British, said Hine, were the only people that had never been conquered, and they were unconquerable, for God had spoken it. Hine believed that each tribe of Dan settled in North Ireland, the people of South Ireland were the Canaanites, and that Queen Victoria descended directly from King David. The coronation stone in Westminster Abbey was, according to Hine, the biblical stone of Jacob. Hine was convinced that the Germans were the descendants of the Assyrians, labeling them as the enemy of Britain's Israel. Hine, like many British Israelites, believed that the Great Pyramid of Giza was a giant prophetic clock to be read by the measurements and configuration of its internal passageways. In his lectures on identity, Hine declared that the Great Pyramid of Egypt was, quote, the sign in the midst of the land of Egypt and the corners thereof, which predicted the timeline for the end of days. You can learn this and more on william-branham.org.